Patrick Lang with Certainty Management. I'm telling the story of an experience we recently had when we attended a CEO summit in uh, Lynchburg, Virginia at Liberty University. Uh, as, I, as I was saying, it's a joint kind of a uh, dual purpose seminar or workshop or a uh, summit, as they call it, between the U.S. and Africa. Several delegates from Africa came, several parties interested in business with Africa. Um, as you may or may not know, Africa has 60% of the arable land uh, worldwide. It produces billions and billions of dollars of, of produce and, and, and minerals and so forth and so on. It's one of the most uh, richly abundant continents in the world. And yet, it only produces uh, literally less than 3% of the GNP. And there's a group that's now working to change that. One of the individuals we met is a man by the name of Lloyd Ward. He is the founder and CEO of Ward Holdings. He's also the former CEO of Maytag. He was a senior vice president with Pepsi, a president of, of Frito-Lay, president of the Olympic Committee in uh, 2002, the, the Winter Olympic Committee. I mean, he's been on the board of General uh, uh, Motors, or General, uh, General, General Motors, and uh, J.P. Morgan Chase, that's it. And so really highly accomplished uh, gentleman that we have since gotten to be friends with and have gotten to know his story. Uh, it was actually the, he was actually the first African American uh, African American CEO of a Fortune 500 company. So, um, why do I say all this? Well, we came to learn while we were there at Liberty University that Lloyd, with his decades of experience, has assembled a team that is now opening up the floodgates from Africa. See, for for centuries now, for three hundred years. Africa has been colonized. It's been marginalized. It has not been, uh, it's not been able to really thrive and succeed financially. Um, for example, 60% of the cashews that come into America are produced in Africa, and yet they're sold from Africa to India and to Vietnam packaged and then distributed into the US. It doesn't even say anywhere on the packaging that those cashews originated in Africa. And so Africa hasn't gotten the credit, they haven't gotten the profits, they haven't gotten the value. And there are many, many examples of this type of, of marginalization that has gone on. Well, Lloyd feels very strongly that um, he has been prepared. He's had the opportunities he's had in corporate America, learning what he's done, creating the connections he has to change this. His company, Ward Holdings, and their first division, a company called Tanzanets, another one called the Motherland, a sister company that does Africa fresh uh, produce, um, they're changing this. They are uh, cutting out the middlemen. They're going to be bringing in produce, cashews, spice, teas, wines, grapes, I mean, avocados, the list goes on. They're going to be bringing in these items into the U.S. and bringing them direct. By cutting out those middlemen, it dramatically increases the profitability of these products, which they intend to both share with the farmers, share with the packagers, take it. Uh, take advantage of, a, of course, as a company and benefit from and also open up to investors. They have a pre-IPO that's going on right now and so forth. So this is a project you want to keep your eyes on. If you haven't heard about it, strongly recommend you, you, you keep in touch. I'll give you some more information about it in the subsequent episodes, but I'm going to be talking about this all week. There's much more to the story. Hold tight. I'll be back tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye. <music>